Hi, it's Jesse here at BoldGrid. I'm here today to answer a question from one of our users on the BoldGrid support forums. Uh, Monica writes in asking how to turn an entire block into a link. Um, so it's possible, but there are some caveats I want you to know. Um, it's only a relatively recent addition to the HTML standard that um, makes it valid to wrap an entire div into a link. Um, and the caveat with that is that that section of code can't contain any other interactive elements or it'll be considered invalid markup. Um, so that brings up implications for both accessibility and SEO. Um, both screen readers and search engine robots use the text inside your links as context to determine what the link is about. Um, so it, search engines will, will use that text to figure out what you should rank for, and screen readers will use that to determine whether or not they want to click on something. So with all that being said, I'm going to show you a method to accomplish this that I think is kind of the best of both worlds. Um, so uh, here I'm looking at a website created in the BoldGrid Swifty theme, and right here at the top of the home page is uh, this call to action. And on your website, this is going to be really important for your users to decide whether or not they want to learn more. Um, in this case, learn more goes to the contact us page. And so um, we want to leave this, this element and this button intact, but we want to make this entire uh, block with the skateboard background into a link. So here's how to do it. Um, switch over to the text editor. And I'm going to be doing this with this entire section of code. Um, but you could also apply this to uh, a row div or a column div. Um, but here I'm going to go ahead and do it with this entire section. So um, up here, uh, right at the right before the end caret of your div element, add this code um, on click equals double quote uh, window dot location dot href and then uh, the link to your page. So I'm in Cloud WordPress, so I need to add my Cloud WordPress ID slash contact us. And the single quote, add a semicolon as the end of the JavaScript line and close the double quote. So that's all we need to do to make the entire div into a link. Um, but there's one more thing we want to do. We want to make sure that your users know that they're uh, hovering over a clickable element and um, the way we do that is with a CSS to change the mouse cursor. So I'm going to go up here into the style, uh, the inline style here, and I'm going to add the CSS rule uh, cursor colon pointer semicolon. And so switch over back over to the visual, and now we'll be able to see that when I hover over this section, I have a pointer uh, cursor as opposed to a, um, the text one or the arrow one. And so that tells your user that they're hovering over something clickable. And let's go ahead and go preview this on the front end. And so, yeah, so now I've got my arrow cursor and a pointer. If I leave the div, I'm on a pointer again. And if I click on it, I will go to the Contact Us page. So that's going to leave intact all of your text and your links the way they are and just use a tiny bit of JavaScript to actually accomplish the, uh, the linking. Um, so I hope that answers your question, Monica. If you have any specific questions about the element that you're linking uh, or anything else, we'll give you the code. Um, I'll have all of that code in both the YouTube description as well as in your original forum post. And anyone else finding this, please join us at the BullGrid support forums at BullGrid.com. Ask us any questions. We'll be happy to help. Goodbye.